Hey guys, comes you back again on another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video and today I'm gonna tell you guys how to make a good amount of tickets. Of course the ticket counter has been updated and uh, there's guys like Wayno, there's a bunch of cool cards, all the POTM cards, the POTM sets. There's always one really good at least diamond, or I shouldn't say at least, there's always a diamond. You can't get any, I guess there's Immortals, the planet rarity which is better than diamond but there's always a POTM card and they're adding new stuff and a lot of people really want this Sean Green from the Dodgers if you guys have not seen his sats quite yet. 80, 69 contact, 91, 85 power, 59 speed, average fielding, 73 vision. This is a really good core. Plus, he is a lefty, plays the outfield in first base. A lot of people want him, but he costs like 3,700 tickets. So, you already know I have some tips on how to go ahead and make some tickets. But, quick disclaimer you guys probably can tell. I'm level 6 bronze, 0 stubs, this is a different account just for the sake of this purposes alone. Also, I know I have 0 tickets and I actually only have 1 level unlocked, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> this definitely is not my main account but uh, we're going to start looking at the programs, that's where a lot of this is going to stem off of and primarily the position programs, to me these are the absolute best to go ahead and make tickets. So let's look at just a bronze one for example, let's look at Derek Norris, uh, let's see what you have to do, a Norris two hit game, two hits in a game, pretty simple, exchange catches, exchange athletics jerseys and a hat, uh, this is just like one hat, that should be what, uh, A's hat's like 100 stubs, uh, A's jersey, a silver jersey is probably not much at all, uh, I, I could check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's probably a couple hundred stubs. Uh, 270, so of course we put in a buy order, so it's only 200, but 200, so that's what, 300 stubs, and that counts for 20%, and then exchange catchers, you only need 500 points. Uh, you can get that done on a bronze card. I, I can actually, I can actually get this one done. I know I have zero stubs, but I do have some, <laughs> I do have some cards on here, so that's 30%. And that would equal to 30, 40, and 50%, which gives, that give me 10 tickets right off the bat. Right off the jump, I already have 10 tickets. After something that simple, and then you do these two as well, and that gets you up to 60%, and you also get the Derek Norris. Get two hits, you get, uh, get two hits with him. You get these 10 tickets and another 20, so that's 40 tickets that you can get really quick. I mean, you only need two hits. You can literally get two hits and back out with Derek Norris, and that's 40 tickets that quick. Very, e very easy and very simple. Uh, with the silvers, it is the same, but with these newer ones that they added, you do get more tickets paying out, but of course, you have to put a little bit more into it. Exchange team souvenirs, catchers, you guys already know about that, I hope so. Unless you've been living under a rock, you guys already know. But then 10 extra base hits and 10 RBIs with primary position catchers, and that as well will get you up to, actually, uh, that'll, get you, uh, that'll get you to 80%. So before you even get the card, something really quick, you get 20 tickets, then with the card you get another 25, so that is 45 tickets, and for the diamond ones, you get even more. And you guys kind of get the idea, you know, as tiers go up, you do get more tickets, and they are a little bit harder, but these are not hard grinds at all, you can easily get these done in a couple of hours. Very quick, very simple, nothing like these Immortals and Career Arcs, although you still can get a bunch of tickets from those, and I will talk about about that in a second but here you got 10 20 40 that's uh that's 70 tickets and i think even like the glaber torres you get another 25 so that's actually 75 95 105 tickets just from completing the glaber torres program which is actually really simple i mean uh the yankees souvenirs are a little bit and of course you will have to exchange 20,000 uh, exchange points but most people if you guys do need help getting stubs I do have plenty of how to make stub methods that I can go ahead and point you guys out to I'll leave those up in the top right hand corner make sure to check those out even if you guys have 300 stubs you can make that into thousands ten thousands hundred thousands millions it all depends on how you want to go ahead and do it but uh, you get that you know you do these exchanges get the glaber program done a hundred and five tickets just like that a couple hours maybe even that the glaber program really is not too bad but you guys get the idea with the position programs they are pretty good uh, I actually have a check conquest you can get a uh, I mean actually you don't really get many tickets at all from conquest my bad I was pretty sure you 
moved in, but now moving on to career arcs and immortals. Of course, the new career arcs, they're gonna take a lot of time and you get, what would it be, 70, uh, 70, 80, 100 tickets. You guys can clearly tell Glaber is, you know, maybe a fifth, a eighth, a tenth of the grind that these uh, career arcs are. And you get more tickets, so uh, let's, not, let's not focus on those, let's focus on the older ones. Because I do believe you get like the same amount. And some of these really are not too bad. If you look at, for like, uh, example, I think I got the Utley one done the fastest or something like that. I think Utley I got the fastest. Of course you have to do these four position programs, but three hits with uh, three hits with Rookie Chase Utley in any games. You do have some exchanges once again. Make sure to use my how to make stub methods if you guys do need some help on that. And of course button buy orders, cannot stress it enough. Um, and then, you know, only 23 runs, 15 RBIs for the second baseman. You load your lineup with second basements with two Bs. You're going to get that done in about two, three games probably on Rookie versus a Computer. I always recommend the Marlins personally because, I don't know, they're just an ass team. But it's fun to beat up on them. So I always use the Miami Marlins. Uh, and I know there is a mission that you do need a double for Chase Utley. Coors Field, as I always say. Coors is the best double field. It's 100 stubs compared to Polo Grounds, which is 15 Thow Wow. Um, and it's better in my opinion too. I mean, it keeps a lot of balls in the yard. Uh, especially if you don't have an insane amount of power. Like, this is the exact amount of power. He's not hitting that many home run at Coors, but he's hitting a lot of doubles. I think my first game I had three doubles and a triple with him at Coors. Insane, make sure to use that one, but... Like I said, 100 tickets. This is a little bit more of a grind, and that just goes to show these position programs, they are so good for making tickets, and unfortunately, I don't think we're getting any more position programs, which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. And then, of course, you do have the Immortals as well. Uh, this gives you 25, 50, 75, uh, 100, 150, uh, that would be 300. 400 tickets, um, I, that's a good amount, but of course the Immortals take a lot, lot, lot of grind. Some of them is not so bad though, 10% to get 25. If you guys have the stubs, you can do exchanges if you want to go ahead and do that. But also just getting one career arc done, which you already earned, you know, uh, you already earned those, what would it be, 100, uh, 100 tickets. You get an extra 25 because every career arc program souvenir has 15%. So, uh, really, completing a career arc gives you 125 tickets if you want to go ahead and look at it like that. And like I said, there's some pretty easy ones. Like, if you just look at this, a double and a walk in a single game, that'll get you 10% on the Griffey program. And then you can get five more pretty easily. And that's 25 tickets. You guys kind of get the idea. Of course. Of course it is more of a grind but in all reality you can get 400 but like I said if you guys need some quick fast tickets these are definitely the way to go they are the best no doubt about it now playing the game there is some ways to get tickets and rank seasons is your key area even if you don't play that much and even if you're not the best getting pennant race gets you 500 tickets just like that really easy really simple even getting spring training just by playing one game, if I play one game and quit out, I'm gonna get 200 tickets. And uh, I know that's every month, you don't get this every single month. But, you know, even if you get to, like, Pennant Race Wildcard, like I said, that's five, 600 tickets a month, which is actually really good. Because, unlike last year when we had the My Career Missions, it's a lot harder to get tickets this year. It is definitely a lot harder to get tickets and XP, in my opinion. Um, but there is still ways to... That's why I'm making this video, man. But Ranked Seasons, if you guys are going to play and you guys want tickets, because you guys like some stuff in the ticket counter, Ranked Seasons is the way to go. BR gives you no tickets, neither does Events. I didn't even know that I started up a uh, battle royale, but uh, yeah, if you guys just want tickets, do not play any of these other two modes because they they don't give you tickets. So, um, and of course, you do earn some tickets while playing the game as well. You don't earn you don't earn an insane amount, but you still do get a couple. So go ahead and do that. Of course, like when you guys are grinding these out, playing versus a computer, you're gonna get tickets just like that. Like I said, and then finally. Probably one of the best ways to do it, uh, I guess. You get like 150 from doing these monthly programs. I think it should be more. Uh, I, 
I honestly don't understand why it isn't more. I mean, you get like three, four, five, six, uh, six thousand, six, uh, six thousand five hundred, seventy-five hundred, eighty-five hundred, nine thousand. You get about a thousand stubs off of this. But unfortunately, you only get 150 tickets. I wish it was more, but it's another 150 tickets that you wouldn't have otherwise. So make sure to check this out as well. The programs really are your go-to to get tickets, but unfortunately, they run out eventually. Some people, the heavy grinders, do all the programs and then there's not really anything else that gets them tickets which sucks but it is what it is i wish they give you more tickets i don't think we got double stub or I, I wish they just like tuned up the ticket rewards game to game that would be a lot better and also put more in the monthly programs i think that would make everything a lot better get more people tickets so they can go ahead and get new cords like i said a lot of people like the sean green let me know if there's any cords in the ticket counter that you guys want i still think it could be a lot better I'm kind of uh, disappointed that they put an 86, 87, and 85 in the ticket counter when people are getting Immortals now. What, why the hell is somebody going to want an 86 when they have a 99 Babe Ruth? Doesn't make any sense to me. Probably doesn't make any sense to you guys, but hey, SDS, BS, SDS logic, go figure. But if you guys did enjoy the video and helped, uh, Sunley's tips helped you go ahead and make some tickets make sure you leave a like down below also if you guys have any alternative methods I don't think there is any but if you guys do have any other methods to go ahead and make some tickets Let me know down below in the comments. We're all trying to help each other out But I hope you guys have a great rest of the day man and there you guys comes out you love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how